Welcome to the Great Northern Virtual Tour uh, in 1970. This is, again, my dad's railroad. This is an update of an update. So I've got three videos up of the tour so far, but I wanted to do a update of what has happened on the railroad thus far since those have been uploaded. As we swing into Minneapolis here, uh, not a whole lot has changed other than probably rolling stock, and you can see some of the greenery between the tracks. That's actually a base layer for scenery that we're going to continue to do in the future. So you keep an eye on cars that are new, the uh, ground foam you'll see periodically. There used to be, uh, in the first video, the Chicago Northwestern cars here on the main line. Those are no longer here. My dad uh, has upgraded a lot of the rolling stock as well as the locomotives. So you won't see much Sioux in the Milwaukee scattered throughout. You will see a lot of different vehicles uh, that have been upgraded. We did get a, uh, a nice track cleaning car, which works well. We develop a system of a few different cars strung together to be able to create a good track cleaning system that we run periodically. But as you look at the, uh, the motive power that's been updated, a few units sitting back there, the fence that's been added in the background. A lot of these locomotives I've updated the uh, decoders in them as well as done some weathering and you'll also note in the foreground you're seeing more cabooses that backtrack has uh, started to acquire some cabooses and we use that um, for just overflow on caboose storage and speaking of cabooses this is actually an updated uh, it was a custom painted caboose my dad got on eBay and I updated it by painting the bottom dull coated it added the windows ended up doing the yellow grabs on the ends and turned out uh, quite nice. The gentleman did a nice job. It was a good starting point to be able to work on and get us close to uh, a representation of uh, an SPNS caboose. Now the railroad, like I said, is being worked on. So as you can see here, there's actually some stuff out. My dad's doing some scenery work, um, doing some ground foam. As we swing in here, these are actually the updated locomotives. Uh, they got new decoders. I did weather them, and uh, it has been nice. Our issue that we had with decoders, we were using some Digitrax decoders, and they were um, stopping, stalling, and, and causing some issues over that actually reset. So we've gone to some TCS and um, Loke Sound decoders, which have been working out great. The performance of the railroad has actually become more what we feel like is more efficient. And in operations, that's always uh, a nice thing to have. And then again, uh, the rolling stock, it's a lot busier in the yard here than the previous video. You know, it's just uh, a lot of cars turning over. We have switched our car card system away from car cards and gone to uh, switch lists. So you'll notice that actually our boxes that we have on the fascia, they're now empty. All the information has been ran through JMRI through their switch list system. And uh, it's been working out really well for us, so we've been happy with that. If I get a chance, I'll see if we can't cover a portion of that in the future. The city here, it's uh, probably the busiest city you've, you've seen in history. But um, my dad does collect a lot of the 187 scale cars. There's a lot of cool cars out there now. So you got to find a, a place to put them. And clearly we've got a lot of tracks, so the streets are... Uh, Streets are busy. We're going to call that noon in Minneapolis. Here we are at West Union Crossover. As we continue to progress, we're heading west out of, uh, out of Minneapolis. I'm going to cut to the other side there and, and give you an update of what Lindale looks like. All right, here we come into Lindale. And the upgrades that have taken place here are really... Um, the ground foam as well as ballasting of the yard and obviously with this many cars you can't necessarily see the work that's been done um, but it's actually just really given it a nice look and appearance since adding those uh, what I said were strips of rolled pre-loaded ground foam and then now he's obviously ballasted over the top of some of that so it works out quite nice not a whole lot has changed up in this area we do continue, obviously, to operate. Now, this, uh, this is a wall. They said build the wall, so we built a wall. And I uh, thought it looked pretty nice, realistic. Got a bush there right uh, on the side. 
but it's not really. It's just, it's just protectant because he's doing uh, alcohol spraying. To protect the depot, uh, the nice vehicles that are sitting here, as well as across the way, a little bit of a parking lot. So we swing around the corner. If you recall, we're entering the M&S uh, interchange. Pardon the alcohol bottle. But we're looking at an SW1500. This is an Atherin. It was a ready to run. Uh, I had put sound in it. I used TCS Wow Sound. Uh, they've got a board that works great, that fits perfectly. I do put a Keep Alive in the cab. I work that around um, the actual control stand and so forth. And uh, very nice locomotive to be able to have sound uh, in. And that's the end. And two near tracks of the MNS interchange. The back tracks obviously service the industries. And as we continue to swing ourselves around here, we're going to take a look real quick at the uh, businesses that we service on this side. So as you see the ground foam has continued to be done. Upgrading the roads uh, in the foreground that is not completed just yet but it's uh, having a dirt road put in. The uh, locomotives in the background there's two Sioux Line GP30s and those two units are actually mine that uh, we lease here to have accurate power on the Sioux Line transfer. And there's a pair of uh, S2 Chicago Northwestern switchers. And we're going to continue on. This is uh, the update of the update completed. So I hope you enjoyed this update of the uh, Great Northern in 1970. The next episode we're going to continue on to is taking a look at YZ. So hopefully you'll enjoy that.